deep trouble. Is there any hope for us when we are in a place of deep trouble? In the book of Psalms, chapter 77 and 78, that's the question. Is there any way out of life's devastating experience? Good morning. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. I'm on top of Ralston Peak in the High Sierra early this morning. Not long ago, there was a horrific, devastating forest fire on this portion of the Sierra. For the last few hours, I've been hiking through a forest that has been devastated. The air still smells like smoke. The trees have literally been consumed by fire. Is there any hope after we face trouble? When we are in deep, deep despair, just like this forest fire that has robbed the beauty of this area. What is amazing is how quickly God allows restoration. Oh, it's true. The forest has been consumed and left in a place of dark devastation. But one winter's snow and the runoff with the water has already brought new life to this area. It is amazing what God can do. And in Psalms chapter 77 and chapter 78, we discover that nothing is impossible with God, that God is able to restore and bring life to even that that is the most devastating. The Bible tells us our response is to lift our hands and to lift our voices and to cry out to God, to enter into his sanctuary, to seek his face and call upon his name. Oh, it is such a magnificent joy to be on top of Ralston Peak and to look around at all the magnificent beauty all around us. Though I had to travel through a forest that had been consumed. You perhaps have been through devastation. You have been broken. You have been left at the forest floor forest floor right here in this area. But thanks be unto God, the wildflowers are already starting to bloom and new life is all around us. And it's the same thing in your life. It's a brand new day and God is doing something new in each one of our lives. Songs for the summer. Psalm 78. Psalm 77. Lord, I give my heart and I give my soul and I give.